Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to join or allow any Minecraft version newer than the version your server is hosted on to join your server. So what I mean by that is if you have a 1.12.2 server, 1.13.2, 1.14, any of the other versions, 1.14.4, 1.14.3, 1.13.1, .1, they'll all be able to join your Minecraft server using the plugin and using the methods that we showcase here. It's a very, very simple and very, very easy process and it is all using this plugin right here via version. First and foremost though, we do have a Mesmer sponsor which is Apex Minecraft hosting. You know, the first link down below at thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS Project in Minecraft server for you and your friends to play on, enjoy, and just have a ton of fun with. It is a great, great place to start a Minecraft server, and overall, we love them so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com, on them. So again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below at thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible Minecraft server for you and your friends. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and install via version. So the first thing you need to do is obviously download via version. You can find it in the description down below, and it does work on 1.8 all the way up to 1.14. However, However, you're probably not going to be using this if you're running a 1.14.4 server. You don't need it, right? Because you can only join, I mean, if we scroll down here, as you can see, if we're running a 1.12 server, 1.13 and 1.14 can join. Now, there is via backwards and via rewind that can allow 1.7 through 1.11 clients to actually join a 1.12 server, but we're not going over that today. If you would like a tutorial on that, let me know in the comment section down below. We're just focusing on versions from 1.9 and higher, and even other versions of 1.8, to join your server. Same thing goes with what we're actually going to be doing today, which is uh, on a 1.12. 12 server, so if you have a 1.12 server, that means 1.13 and 1.14 clients can join it. For example, our Skyblock on Breakdown Craft is hosted in 1.12.2, yet you can join it off of 1.13, 1.13.1, 1.13.2, 1.14, and all the 1.14 versions all the way up to 1.14.4. So nevertheless, once you're at this page, again, it's the second link down below, just click on the download now button and it will go ahead and download in the bottom left. If you're on Mozilla Firefox in the center of your screen, you want to click save in the center of your screen. However, if you're on Google Chrome, you need to keep it in the bottom left. Now I'm assuming you've already got your server set up at this point. If you don't, there is a link in the description down below. So at the eye at the top of your screen that shows you how to set up a paper server in order to do this. Now you will need a server with plugins on it, either spigot or paper or bucket in order to allow this to happen. So you need a bucket, spigot, or paper server in order to allow this, right? And in order for it to work. Once you do, we can go ahead and install it. But before we do that, we need to go ahead and show you that I can't join this server, this server right here. It's a 1.12.2 paper server. We can't join it off of Minecraft 1.14.4. So we're latest release 1.14.4. If we click play, right, I'm then gonna join off of my local IP address. It's just not gonna work. It's gonna, you know, say it's an outdated version. It's not gonna work. I'm gonna show you here just to prove that it's not working. Then once we install via version, it is going to work. So let's go ahead and just prove this real quick. I always have to, you know, just back it up. That way you all know that I'm not trying to mess with you or anything. So if we go in here to direct connect, we can then go ahead and type in 192.168.1.1, basically just my local IP address. But if we click join server, it's going to say connecting, but it's an outdated server. It's still on 1.12.2. And while that is sad, there are many reasons you might want to want a 1.8 or a 1.12 or that's it, really. 1.8 or 1.12. You shouldn't be running like a 1.11 server. It doesn't make any sense. But anyway, let's go ahead and go back to the server list here. We're just going to leave this up, but wait, what is that? Play.breakdowncraft.com? Yeah, best Minecraft server in the multiverse. That's all I'm going to say. Come play with this. IP's in the description. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and install via version. So to do that, we're going to stop our server here. So we're going to type over here, SCOP, stop the server, close out of everything, press any key to continue. And then we're just going to drag and drop via version into the plugins tab. Then we're going to go back, start the server, right like so. And via version is going to generate like its configuration files and things like that. However, I will say this. You don't really need them. You don't really ever need to edit this much. I will show you some settings that you can change, but um, overall, you don't need them. So as you can see, via version has detected server 1.12.2, and that means it's going to allow other servers. So if we come in here, direct connect. Remember, we couldn't connect just a few seconds ago, but now if we click join server, it will go ahead and let us right on in to the server in Minecraft 1.14.4. So as you can see, Minecraft 1.14.4, it's joined in via version did detect 1.12.2, and I think if we go up here, we'll be able to see, um, let's see here, paper 1.12.2 of a version there. So that is awesome. You can even see a via version is mapping items. So when it's doing this mapping, it's saying, okay, 1.12.2 to 1.13, 1.13.2 to 1.14. So it's going through both of those steps in order to allow all of these clients to join. 
So nevertheless, once we've done that, we can now um, go ahead and look at these config files. But that's it, basically. Most of the time, that's all you'll ever need to do. Just drop the version into your plugins tab, and it's done. It is that simple. Very, very easy plugin. But I always do like to go over the config files. You will notice that sometimes you have fences that don't connect right and things like that, and that can actually be fixed here. So if we come in here, you can see check for updates, whether you want to be notified of updates. Send supported versions, don't do that. Basically, all of this right here, you want to just, like, leave it alone. All of this, the global packet limiter, you want to leave that alone too. And it can be something that's useful if like, you know, you have a lot of uh, anti-cheat of people like trying to hyper-click on your server. It can prevent that, but overall, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. There's no real reason for it. Now, as you can see, do you want to suppress the 1.13 conversion errors? Every time you start up, there will be some errors uh, with 1.13 conversions if you're running a 1.13 server, and that's not really needed. Do you want to disable autocomplete? Yes or no? These are things that could actually be useful here. Now, one of the things that I want to talk about is this, server-side block connections. So let's see if I can replicate it. If we come over here and I go into creative, which means I'm going to have to opt myself real quick, so let me opt myself. Boom, and then let's go ahead and do game mode creative. You'll notice that these are not connecting, right? So if we come in here to a fence, all right, there we go. Finally, we can do this. Now, if you notice this, they aren't connecting correctly. See that? See, see how they're just messed up? They're not connecting correctly. So if we go ahead and turn on the server side block connections to true, now this is going to use a bit more resources on your server, but overall, not bad there. And then you can come down here, and if you're running a 1.8 server, there are additional configurations for you. But as you can see, we've just changed that service side block connections. Look through all of this. There might be some 1.13 or 1.14 things you want to turn off. But overall, we're just going to change that service side block connections. And then I'm going to stop the server. I'm going to restart the server just so you all can see that that is now fixed, right? That that did fix that connection issue. It was a big complaint of Via version, you know, that um, when 1.13 came out, that wasn't that wasn't fixed, right? And then when it was fixed, it was huge, but it was kind of under mentioned, right? It was mentioned one time in an update notes. It was talked about in th their Discord some, but overall, it just wasn't mentioned. Well, oh, I accidentally joined Breakdown Craft, Force of Habit. All right, Direct Connect joined server. That really was a Force of Habit. I wasn't even trying to do a promo there. I just there was that was just an accident. None of us we join on in. As you can see, these are now all connected. We can place new ones, and they are all connected and we are good to go. We can even do version here and see that this is a paper MC 1.12.2 server, but we are running on 1.14. So there you go, that's how you can have people join your Minecraft server. If you're running a 1.12.2 server, allowing them to join off the latest version, this is very important, incredibly important. If we go to Breakdown Craft right now, it's actually very interesting. So we can go to Breakdown Craft, our survival server that I'm gonna join into here. This is our um, aquatic survival server here. If I do slash via, version and then do list right so slash via version list here it will go ahead and show us where everyone is playing this is a 1.13.2 server right 1.13.2 only 10 people are playing on 1.13.2 whereas 38 people are playing on 1.14.4 yeah 10 people versus 38 even though this is a if i do slash version here a 1.13.2 Minecraft server. As you can see, this server is running paper 1.13.2. So there you guys have it. That is how quick and easy, or that is how quick and easy via version is. If we want to look at commands, there isn't really that many. There's that slash via version list command, which is just kind of useful information. There's nothing really crazy there. But if we do slash via version here, we can see all the different commands. The PPS command can be good for catching cheaters, but basically that's packets per second. And if someone is sending a lot of packets per second, they're probably doing something not good. Auto teaming isn't really something you're gonna have to worry about alpha 1.8, but um, if you do click it there, you, you can see it will no longer accept auto teams. However, I would just recommend kind of leaving that on most of the time. And then um, don't bug me, turns off the update notes. Dump allows you to basically dump the plugin if there's having errors. and. That's about it. There's a help that goes through everything there, as you can see. So, yeah, that is that. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Enjoy via version and enjoy allowing people on any version of Minecraft to join your Minecraft server. Speaking of a Minecraft server, though, we've checked it out a little bit in this video, but come join us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. 160 people online right now at, like, 8 o'clock on a random Tuesday. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I can't wait to see you online. We've got incredible Greed Protected Survival, custom Skyblock, and factions coming soon. So, again, come play with us. Play Craft.com, Discord, all the information is in the description. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.